Hey everybody, how's it going? Peter Kaltreiter with 630. Today we're going to talk about the difference in gear range between a 7-speed versus an internal 3-speed. Stay tuned. What is the difference in gear range between a 3-speed internal bike and a 7-speed with a derailleur? We get this question quite often. And so what we're talking about with gear range is what's the difference between the easiest gear and the fastest gear? Your, your slow gear and your, your high gear, low gear and high gear. So anyway, there's a, there, we have a different video on how to calculate that. And the gear, gear range is expressed in a, in, a, in a percentage. And they can be all over the place depending on what kind of use you're doing. But for a recreational rider and for an e-bike rider, really you're gonna just need about a um, 200% which is exactly what our seven speeds have. It has a 200% range, meaning that the uh, high gear is going to be basically twice as fast as the low gear. It's kind of a, a layman's way of putting it. Anyway, you'll find that it's, it's plenty of range for any kind of paved riding that you wanna do. If you're a mountain biker and you have an e-mountain bike, different story, you're gonna be doing lots of tough terrain, uh, you know, steeper and all that, you're gonna want a bigger gear range. But for recreational rider who's riding on a, on a bike like this, on any paved road, the 200% range is going to be great. Now, the uh, the three-speed doesn't have quite the range of the seven-speed as you would imagine. However, it's actually pretty close. Uh, surprisingly, whereas the seven-speed that we have here is a 200% range, the internal three-speed is going to be about 180%. So they're actually pretty close. The seven-speed does have a, a wider range. It has a really nice easy gear. It's a, it's a large, uh, 28 tooth here in the back. The larger in the back, the easier it gets. And the 28 tooth, is that's a really easy easy ratio. So we have a 44 in the front and a 28 in the back. That gives you a one and a half ratio, which is a pretty, pretty easy gear. With an e-bike assist, it's really all you would ever need on any paved road that you would encounter. So that's the difference. There's not a huge difference. Uh, the seven speeds do cost less uh, because actually they're, um, the internal three speeds cost more to manufacture actually. Um, but you get a little, little bit of advantage with the range on your seven speed. Three speeds uh, require a little bit less maintenance than the seven speed. So anyway, a little bit off topic there, but that's it for the difference in gear range for seven speed versus three speed internal. All right, thanks for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you uh, need any more help, please don't hesitate to contact us at 310-982-2877 or the team at 630.com. 630 is spelled out, S-I-X-T-H-R-E-E-Z-E-R-O. Also subscribe to our channel, and remember, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.